Hello, hiya Tim. Hi, how are you? Very well, how are you doing? Good, great. Cross in again, saved by Etienne Green. Green there with a strong left hand. Green with a spectacular save. Great goalkeeping from Etienne Green. So, Etienne, my first question to you. How does a boy from Colchester end up here in, in Saint-Étienne? I don't really know. It's life, you know. My dad's English, my mum's French. Yep. They met over in England. And when I was born, I decided to move back to France. Now, the question I have to ask you, Etienne Green, um, Surely you were destined to, to play for Saint-Étienne? Yeah, my name and my surname's a bit not weird, but it suits the club very well, so, yeah. What but, were your parents thinking? Obviously, green is your dad's name. Yeah, you, you can't choose green, but you can, you can choose Etienne. Is it your mum who's My mum's from Saint-Étienne, yes. OK, OK. And what's it like as a youngster coming, coming through this club? To me, it's great. It's, it's what I've all I've wanted to do, you know, play for this great, great club, great history, and great fans as well. I've been a ball boy many, many times. Uh, hold the hands of the players when being the mascot. Yeah. For, uh, with Chano, players like that, so great memories, yeah. I'm imagining, uh, Etienne, that a date, the 4th of April 2021, is, uh, is, is etched in your mind? Is it is, true? yes. What happened on that day? Uh, first League One game. And it went rather well, I believe. Yeah, went well, yeah, clean sheet. Saved the penalty at the end of the game, so got man out of the match, I believe. Tell us about the the penalty save because Renault Ripar hadn't missed a penalty in Ligue 1 before. And it's saved by Etienne Green. What a story! Before the game, I had to look at a few penalties, and knew most of the time he opened his foot to the right, so dive to my left and no save it. No problem. Yeah. And I've seen a, a video as well of you um, going into the dressing room after the game. And the ovation from your from your teammates was unbelievable. Yeah, I had an interview at the end of the game, so went to the dressing rooms a bit later than the others. And when I opened the door, everyone screamed, shouted. So yeah, it was amazing. And then you play the next weekend, you're at home. At home, yeah, so against Bordeaux. What does that mean as well for, a, you know, basically you're a Saint-Étienne boy playing at the Stade Geoffroy Guicha? Yeah, usually I was in the stands watching the game, cheering the team, and now it was my turn to be on the pitch. And then, yeah, we scored four goals. Great win. The next weekend was almost a reminder of uh, how tough top-level football is. You went to the Parc des Princes. Yeah, oh, PSG, great team with some of the best players in the world. So for me to have started two weeks earlier and then playing against Mbappé, Di Maria. Yeah. Do you remember Kylian Mbappé's goal? Because, I mean, it, it, look, it looks so simple, the, the way he does it. Yeah, great pass, then controlled the ball. Just wanted to close the gap, yeah. but it was just too quick and That's the thing, it. he didn't give you the time to close no, the angle. No, Yeah, speed is mind-blowing, you know. The little one-two with the Cardi, and now the pass for Mbappe. Mbappe gets there, and it's a penalty. I thought, well, usually you're going to be like 50-50, hands on the ball, he's going to put his feet same time, but no, just clipped it past me and then... Did that almost set us out a marker for you? Like, this is the top Yeah, level. Yeah, I thought, well, he's rapid, <laughs> and you, you need to make quicker decisions and go maybe a bit quicker if you can, but, yeah, that's top-level top football. Yeah, Etienne, you've got big gloves to fill here. Um, for many years, Stefan Ruffier was the, was the first choice. He was a great goalkeeper for, for this football club. Is he somebody that you used to watch closely? Yes, very much so, yes. Um, got the chance to, when I was about 17, to come and train with him a few times. And I thought, wow, this guy's amazing, you know. So I tried to replicate a bit of his game and and he, he was the guy who wanted to be, he, he saves on the line with just an unbelievable, great reaction, a great leader as well in the team, so, yeah, something, someone to look up to. What would you say your strengths are? It's not easy for a young footballer <laughs> to describe his strengths, but what would you say? 
but yeah, quite quick for reflexes. Not too bad on the ball with my feet. Not too scared to go in for for contacts, high ball. So, Etienne, did you know that French people sometimes rather meanly make fun of English goalkeepers? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Even one called Green, I remember. <laughs> Is that fair? I mean, particularly these days, we've got some good young goalkeepers in England. Yeah, we? that's true. Jordan Pitford had an amazing uh, Euro campaign. You've also got Dean Henderson, Nick Pope, Ramsdale, Johnson, all great keepers. So, Etienne Green, now it's time for a test to see how English or French you are. You need to tell us which you prefer out of these two options. Okay. We're starting with a big question. Fish and chips or steak frites? Probably steak frites. David Beckham or Zinedine Zidane? David Beckham. L'Equipe newspaper or The Sun? Probably L'Equipe. Don't, don't really uh, read The Sun. Hugo Lloris or Jordan Pickford? Jordan Pickford. Colchester, where you were born, or Vosch, where you grew up? Oh, that's a tough one. I'll have to say uh, Vosch. All my friends are there. <laughs> Continental breakfast with bread, butter and croissants, or a full English with bacon and eggs? Full English, but no eggs. Freddie Mercury or Johnny Halliday? Mm, none. <laughs> cricket or handball? Oh, I'll try cricket about two or three times, but better at handball. So? Handball. Didier Deschamps or Gareth Southgate? <laughs> That's very tough because he had a better, uh, better Euros. I'm going to say Southgate. A pint of beer or a glass of Bordeaux? No alcohol. A French kiss or a Glasgow kiss? Now a Glasgow kiss is a headbutt. Just in case you didn't know. French kiss. A few. <laughs> Karim Benzema or Harry Kane? Harry Kane. Vanessa Paradis or Adele? Adele. Ligue 1 or the Premier League? Now you have to think about this one. Uh, Premier League with Saint-Étienne. <laughs>